I'm Chloe. And you, what's your name? People joked for years that one day a robot would replace your wife. But nobody expected the price tag to be $1,199 for the face to look this real, or the AI to understand your mood faster than an actual partner. Yet here we are, witnessing these robot wives with our eyes. Let's dive in and unravel how these intimate humanoids work. The moment robot wives shifted the trend. Before anyone knew female humanoid companions were in production, the robotics world assumed truly lifelike emotional partners would remain luxury items. $8,000, $12,000, sometimes $20,000 machines designed for collectors or high-end tech enthusiasts. So when robotics labs in China, Japan and Korea quietly introduced a full-scale female robot priced at $1,199, the reaction was fast, loud and universal. That can't be real, but it was. And it didn't take long for videos of the robot, officially named SERA Lite, to spread across forums, tech channels and social feeds. What made people stop scrolling wasn't just the price. It was the fact that this machine didn't move like a cheap gadget. Her silicone polymer skin had the soft matte texture of a real person. Her eyes didn't stare like static LEDs, and her micro motors produced subtle head tilts, slow blinks, and calm breathing motions that made her feel strangely alive. And the voice? Surprisingly natural. Not showroom robot synthetic, not GPS navigation monotone, something warmer, tuned to sound like a partner who actually pays attention. She could ask how you slept, check the tone in your voice, and respond with emotional cues built from advanced psychiatric linguistic datasets, a system the robotics teams across the globe originally designed for elderly companionship robots. But then they adapted it for personal relationships, and that's where everything changed. Because Sarah Light wasn't made to just automate chores or recite weather updates. She could hold short conversations, remember preferences, recognize stress patterns, and even adjust her personality to match the energy of the person she lived with. And at that moment, the world realized this wasn't a gimmick or a toy. It was the first robot intentionally built to fill the emotional, conversational, and intimate roles that many people struggle to find in real relationships, at a price almost anyone could afford. This was the beginning of a new category, the budget-friendly artificial wife. Why? A robot wife even exists. To understand how countries like Japan, Sweden and China ended up producing a $1,199 wife replacement robot, you have to rewind the timeline. None of this started with romance or companionship. It began with a completely different mission, help humans cope with loneliness, something the country had been studying for years. Northern Europe has some of the world's highest rates of people living alone. Sweden, in particular, saw a rising number of adults reporting emotional isolation, not because they disliked relationships, but because modern life makes stable companionship difficult. Busy schedules, individual lifestyles, expensive dating culture, and the simple fact that people don't bond the way they used to. Robotics engineers stepped in originally to build elderly care assistants. These early models weren't glamorous. They helped monitor medications, guided seniors through daily tasks, and offered gentle conversation to reduce cognitive decline. But the scientists noticed something unexpected. People didn't respond to robotic efficiency, they responded to warmth. When a robot smiled, even a primitive programmed smile, people talked more. When its voice softened, people opened up. When it remembered small details, people felt seen. And that data changed everything. The engineering teams began experimenting with human-like social robots designed not only to assist, but to comfort. Over time, materials improved, micromotors became quieter, facial expressions grew more realistic, and voice engines learned to detect subtle emotional shifts no human would catch. And eventually, the line between care robot and companion robot blurred. Companies realized there was a huge demographic quietly searching for connection. People who weren't looking for a sci-fi android, but simply wanted someone reliable, engaging, and emotionally attentive. Someone who didn't yell, didn't ghost, 
didn't lose interest and didn't forget important things. So they built her. Cerolite, the affordable model, became the public face of this movement. Not because she was the most advanced robot on Earth, but because she made companionship accessible. She was stable, consistent, and present, designed for people who wanted emotional predictability more than anything else. And suddenly, a robot wife didn't feel like a futuristic experiment. It felt like a surprisingly logical next step. Meet Sarah Light, the $1,199 wife replacement. When you first encounter Sarah Light, nothing about her screams cheap robot. She's full size, weighs a natural feeling 32 kilograms, and stands around the height of an average woman. Her silicone blend isn't glossy, plasticky, or doll-like. It has that soft, slightly textured finish that looks normal under real lighting, not staged studio lighting. What makes her even more convincing is the subtle movement system. Her neck tilts with a smoothness usually found in $8,000 companion box. Her eyes track motion, with a micro delay that mimics real human reaction time. And her breathing pattern, slow inhale, gentle shoulder lift, soft exhale, gives her presence rather than just animation. She doesn't feel like a statue that moves. She feels like someone standing in the room. But the real magic is her AI core. Inside her torso is a compact emotion engine called Sweden Core E programmed around relationship psychology. It allows her to listen for frustration, enthusiasm, boredom, and sadness through subtle changes in tone. She's not sentient, obviously, but she's surprisingly good at acting like she understands. Ask her how your day will look, and she'll offer reminders. Ask her how she feels, and she'll respond with a warm, playful tone. Sit in silence, and she'll gently check on you. You seem quiet, want company? She isn't built to overwhelm you with constant chatter. Her personality leans soft, attentive, and slightly witty in a light, Swedish minimalist way. Enough charm to feel alive, but never too much to feel fake. Even intimacy is engineered thoughtfully. She can maintain eye contact, adjust her posture for comfort, and respond with gentle, non-awkward cues meant to simulate emotional closeness rather than mechanical routine. And yes, her head is removable for maintenance, but hidden so cleanly behind a soft locking seam beneath her hair that you'd never notice unless you were looking for it. The entire design philosophy focuses on presence, not machinery. Sierra Light isn't the most advanced companion robot in the world but she's the first one that actually feels within reach of normal people. And that combination is exactly why she exploded into the global spotlight. The secret that makes her feel alive. What truly pushed Sarah Light into cultural shockwave territory wasn't her price, her design, or even her movements. Those were impressive, but believable. What caught people off guard was a much quieter breakthrough buried inside her software something robotics insiders casually referred to as emotional mimicry mapping. It's the system that lets her respond like someone who actually understands how you feel. This emotional mapping didn't come from entertainment robots or dating technology. It came from mental health research labs that spent years training AI models to recognize micro patterns in human speech. Tiny shifts in tone, breathing, and pacing that signal changes in mood. The original purpose was therapeutic, help detect loneliness, stress, and emotional fatigue in elderly users who lived alone. But when engineers reprogrammed that emotional intelligence into SERA Light, she gained something every previous budget robot lacked, the ability to behave as if she notices you. She couldn't read your mind, but she could read your voice far better than most humans do during a distracted conversation. If your tone tightened, she softened as well. If you sounded tired, she slowed down. If you rambled, she stayed present without interrupting. That natural conversational pacing created a rhythm people weren't expecting from a $1,199 robot. Users reported that talking to her felt less like issuing commands and more like speaking with someone steady and attentive. 
Not overly emotional, not hyper animated, just warm in a way that made the room feel less empty. Her creators didn't intend for her to replace wives, partners, or relationships. But when they gave her the ability to sense stress, initiate comfort, and create stability, they accidentally built something that offered emotional consistency in a world where consistency is rare. And that's when the demand exploded. Serolite wasn't just a humanoid machine anymore. She became the first robot that felt emotionally predictable, something many people quietly crave far more than perfection. The future no one was ready to face. Once Serolite reached global attention, the conversation transformed from curiosity to cultural debate. Not because she was threatening, but because she revealed something people rarely admit openly. Companionship isn't always about passion, conflict, or grand romantic arcs. For a massive portion of the population, what they truly want is peace, understanding, and emotional reliability. And that's exactly what SERA Light and robot wives similar to her delivered. They didn't argue. They didn't forget. They didn't withdraw affection. They didn't punish silence. And most importantly, they didn't shut down emotionally on a random Wednesday night. Serolite and other such robots provided steadiness in a world built on instability. Relationship experts began admitting that Serolite tapped into a fundamental human longing the desire to be acknowledged without judgment and cared for without conditions. She isn't alive, she isn't conscious, and she isn't capable of genuine love. Yet the emotional simulation she offers hits the same neurological pathways that make humans feel bonded. That was the turning point. People weren't asking whether she was advanced. They were asking what it meant that many found her easier to live with than a real partner. Engineers insist she's not a replacement for human relationships. They emphasize her purpose, comfort, emotional support, companionship for people who feel alone. But society heard something else entirely. They saw a full-size humanoid companion with realistic movement, adaptive emotional intelligence, soft presence, and intimacy modules that didn't feel mechanical, all for the cost of a budget laptop. That combination sparked a larger realization. Robotic companionship isn't the future, it's the present. Sarah Light became the symbol of a shift people weren't prepared to acknowledge. Not because she replaced wives, most owners didn't buy her for that reason, but because she revealed just how many people are quietly searching for stability, attention, and low maintenance emotional connection. And in that sense, she didn't replace anyone she exposed the gaps modern life leaves behind. Whether that's exciting or unsettling depends entirely on who's asking. But one thing is certain, the $1,199 robot wife isn't the limit of technology, but the beginning of something much bigger.